Hello guys, good morning everyone. It's your boy Yashvia Gaming. Well, if you're just trying, guys, I would like you to kill murder and smash the subscribe button right about now, okay? So, without any further ado, guys, um, today I'm going to show you an RDP, okay? So, if you have RDP, so you can go to Server Manager and then uh, click Add Roles and Features, okay? First, you'll have to wait, okay? And then click Add Roles and Features, go to Features. And as you can see, I've already installed .NET Framework 3.5, okay? So, if you haven't installed this, that .NET Framework 3.5, okay? So, you won't be able to run any um, SQLi dumper, any uh, open bullet, any checkers, okay? It won't run without this .NET Framework, okay? And by default, the dotnet framework 4.6 is already installed okay and if you want to install the http activation non-http activation you can select that also and hit and click on install okay and the next thing what we need to do is to go to settings and we need to go to updates windows update okay uh disable dot check for updates go to windows defender and turn off real-time protection uh any protection that on this rdp okay because you don't want every time the rdp windows defender gets turned on and it's gonna automatically keeps deleting all your SQLi dumpers okay it's it can be really annoying okay so uh to fix that properly i'm gonna show you so you're gonna write j pedit okay j pedit uh j pedit dot msc all right so it's the microsoft common console document so just uh, open it and you're gonna click on computer configurations okay double click on that go to administrative templates and um system or windows components yes in the windows components and then scroll down until you see microsoft defender okay windows defender here it is so just double click on that and here you should be able to see real-time protection okay and just completely turn off okay as you can see turn off for real-time protection just click edit this and just here it is set on not configured so just enable it and let's apply and okay so right now the state has been enabled okay so it has been enabled to turn off real-time protection all right and if you can also enable disable everything okay so if you want to go back and here let's say uh turn off windows defender all right so let's say we disable this and we hit okay and as you can see it says disabled the state is now disabled okay let's do for this one as well okay as you can see here if you can read that if you enable this policy windows defender will not prompt you to take actions on my way okay so you have to enable it hit apply hit okay all right click back and do the same thing for um as you can see if you enable this policy settings windows defender does not run and computer computers are not scanned for malware or other potentially unwanted software okay so this is what we need so you have to enable it hit apply and click ok and that's all okay so now you can just browse to anywhere and you can um i don't know you can download any um sqli dumpers open bullet and storm sentry and ba any brute forcing software and it will run fine okay it will stay on your rdp it will never get okay this rdp has uh it is now fully uh configured 
by you and it will never be scanned okay no more windows defender okay all right so we have completely disabled it okay so yeah thanks for watching and if you appreciate this video i um please give this video for a thumbs up and don't forget to uh smash up uh what to ring that bell notification and also subscribe oh man i can't talk all right um yeah so that's it for today guys and i'll see you guys in my next one okay my next videos all right peace out